guys, I'm Leo Reinhardt, the Guitar Maniac. And today I'm gonna try out Kent Armstrong pickups with my LTD B335 bass. Primarily, I'm not a bass player, that's why I don't have a huge collection of bass guitars. I prefer to have the only one all-round instrument that I can use in any genre of music, from jazz up to the trash metal. And speaking of sound, you can't ignore the Fender Classics. But I wasn't satisfied with the ergonomics. But once I tried B405 model, I knew that's the one that I wanted. It had nice design, perfect ergonomics and a Fender on a steroids kind of sound. There were only two problems. First of all, this wasn't my bass guitar. And second, they didn't do this anymore. The Indonesian made B335 was the closest thing that you could get to the B405 model. And it's actually made uh, with a similar wood types. It's a maple neck with a rosewood fingerboard and an edge body. It has high quality hardware, nice fret work and actually I can't see any production flaws. However, there are a couple of differences between those two models. The B335 has slightly thicker neck than a B405. But it's not a big deal. A B405 is a neck through model and B335 has a bolt on neck. And I would actually prefer the bolt on neck anyway, so that's not a big deal. And they tried to make a similar electronics on the B335 and that's where they totally fucked up. The LTD B405 model has two active EMG humbuckers and three band active equalizer also from EMG. And speaking about the equalizer, usually I never touch the tone control knob of my guitars. I prefer to adjust tone of my amp instead. And with B405 model I simply could put uh, the EQ settings all in the middle position and that was the sound that I actually wanted. And the whole electronics of the B335 model is a low budget version of the EMG electronics. When I threw away the equalizer of the B335, I got a lot of more clarity and these nice three holes in the body of my bass guitar. And even after this improvement, I still wasn't satisfied with the sound of the original pickups. And this was kind of confusing. You see, those pickups have ESP logo on it. And usually you see such kind of logo on the, on the high quality guitars that are made only in Japan. And you naturally assume that ESP equals high-end products. And this wasn't the case with these pickups. And I know that this guitar has much more to offer and it has a lot of potential. So I had to change the pickups, but it was easier to say than to do. Let me put it this way. You can easily customize the sound of your instrument just with changing the pickups. If you have guitar with standard humbuckers or single coils, you have a huge variety of possibilities. You have brighter or darker sounding pickups, you have pickups with high or low output, you have humbuckers in a single coil size, you have standard or hum cancelling single coils, but you have guitar with a P90 pickups, you are kind of limited, because there are no such great options for the P90 pickups. And I have never thought that finding the 5 string bass guitar so bar humbucker would be such a big deal. DiMarzio is usually my first choice when it comes to pickups, but they just don't do the saw bar bass humbuckers. EMG has a huge variety of saw bar bass pickups, but almost all of them are active. Well, there is nothing wrong with active pickups, and if I had the EMGs installed in the factory, I would probably leave them there. But if I have a choice, I prefer to go with passive. I simply prefer to concentrate on my music instead of keeping in mind whether I have to change the battery or unplug the cable. EMG has only one passive saw bar model, but I don't like to put the same pickup in bridge and neck position. Sima Duncan does have two passive saw bar models. The SSBs have nice sound, but you can split the coils. The NYCs are really great pickups. They sound nice, you can split the coils, but they cost about 300 euro for a set. And there is no fucking way I pay this much for a set of passive humbuckers. Bartolini or Aguila pickups are hard to find in Germany. And in fact, Kent Armstrong pickups were also available only in a small eBay shop. I paid 160 euro for a set and this is a reasonable price. And so let's take a look at them. Those are made in South Korea. They are packed in a nice cardboard box. We have a user's manual with wiring diagram, the pickup itself, a couple of screws, but no springs. 
And so let's put those in the base. I prefer to put a piece of foam under the pickup for more stability. And because I have a lot of holes in my base, I can put a couple of mini switches. Now I can choose between regular humbucker, split single coil or parallel coils. I stole this idea from Warwick bases. I think I'll put the passive tone control as well. Probably I'll never use it, I just want to cover the hole. I have a battery compartment as well, which I don't really need because I use the passive pickups. But at least I can hide the drugs in there. And now the work is done here, and so let's test how it sounds. Maybe I have to mention a couple of things. First of all, I haven't changed the amp settings for both of the pickup sets. The ESPs have as good as no trebles and that's why I had to compensate those. And for the can dancing, those settings uh, had too much trebles and that's why they sound a little bit overdriven and muddy. And second, the ESPs have less dynamics than uh, can strings. And for example, when I hit the string, I want to hear the attack of the string, and with the ESPs uh, this was a kind of challenging and that's why I had to hit uh, the string harder. And you might not hear this in the sample, and you might think that both of those pickups uh, sound uh, not bad actually, slightly different but not bad. But actually it is a big difference between enjoying to play an instrument or struggling with it. And so the Ken Thompson were definitely a huge improvement. And uh, with the different uh, pickup modes, it's just amazing what this bass actually can do. Well, with a single coil get the kind of uh, jazz bass uh, sound. And the same thing you can do with the bridge pickup. when you blend the two pickups together. I have here one master volume and the one balance uh, control. And you can do all kind of crazy settings. You can put the humbucker in the bridge and single coil in the neck or parallel connected coils in the neck and uh, humbucker in the bridge and you can do all kind of uh, crazy things with it.
and actually the turn control is kind of useful as well you can get a kind of uh, double bass type of sound The Ken Thompson pickups are the one that I can definitely recommend to check out. And so, that's all for today. Have a nice day and keep on rocking!